So I tried a number of things with derive, thinking I could derive this and then do what I'm doing now in the derived part and have it associative. But for some reason, as soon as you turn the derived part into a surface, it no longer has any properties, physical properties. So I don't know what's going on with it. So this is the next thing that came to mind. Um, I mean, one way or the other, you either have to select all the outside surfaces or uh, select all the inside surfaces in order to tell it which surfaces you want. Um, <clears throat> if we got the programming team involved, I would imagine we could come up with a way to uh, have it select all outside surfaces, but even here, in this case, that wouldn't work. It would go down and get all these holes. Um, so, I don't know if this will be acceptable or not. I keep picking that bottom face. We're almost done. Well, since it's so much work, I've been trying to come up with a way to make it associative, and I think this way will work. It looks like I missed a couple in here. So we'll name this something uh, so the rule can find it, not just shell or delete face. <clears throat> we'll create an iLogic rule because I can get my properties now, but uh, as soon as I turn that delete face off, obviously I'm going to lose my properties. So I was trying to come up with a way that would put these in the part so that we could uh, add them to a parts list which is what I'm assuming the user wants. So we'll make a custom I property and that's what we'll push the value to. And to push area, the current area to that, um, it's you know a pretty easy I property or a I logic rule, but you're not gonna want that um, deleted face showing all the time. So I figure it'll be suppressed and the first thing we'll do is we'll come in and, and we'll unsuppress it. And really here we should say we should make a, a if-then statement and say if I guess first we could do a catch that says if that feature is not there just to skip. But this rule shouldn't be in a part that doesn't have that feature. Or maybe display an error if that feature is missing. Um, but I think even better would be a um, if then statement at the top that would say if that feature is true, uh, then just move on. Um, otherwise, make it true. So, <clears throat> I'm going to copy the I property. I couldn't remember what I called it. It's been a long time since I've been in iLogic. So 
So we'll pull in the area with that delete face active. We now have the area. And then we'll make it inactive or suppressed. And got an update part in there because I wasn't sure if the I property if the physical values would update um, after suppressing that feature. And that should be it. Should maybe add the uh, squared this area. It's squared, but we'll just take it to two decimal places. I can't remember how to do any of this stuff without looking. I think that round might have to be up on the round or up on the, yeah, that round needs to be up a level, but we'll we just put it down on the I property itself. Then we'll make the dialog box display the I property. That should work. Cool. And that should be it. I don't know. I don't know if it's the best route or not, but it's uh it's an option. Let me know what you think. <laughs>